What's up, guys? It's time to build some PCs and drink tea. I'm drinking tea on the job. This is dangerous, Max. All right, everybody in Deutschland. What's up? I get, I get a lot of emails from Deutschland, and I get a lot of emails from the UK. I get some emails from India and a lot from Australia as well, but the most this last month were from the UK and Deutschland, everyone asking for a specific build just for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mid-grade build, like like well under 1,000 euros, actually around 700 or 800, under 1,000 euros. But I'm going to give you guys an Intel option, and I'm going to give you guys an AMD option, because right now there's some really cool ways you can go, you know, with, with both options. Now, one thing that's nice about the Intel option is you get a little bit more speed, but it's more expensive. So let's start off with uh, my choice for um, CPU and motherboard for the Intel option. For the CPU, I'm going to grab an i5-3570K. Uh, it's around 210, 211 euros. Uh, or you guys can look for a 2500K on sale. I love the 2500K because it runs a little cooler and you can push it a little farther. Uh, and it's about the same speed. Uh, there's pros and cons to each, but I usually, I usually go with the 2500K, play with both of them. But um, either one of those you can find at a better price, grab it. If 3570K is a dollar cheaper, grab that one. I don't know. Either way. Um, and then for the motherboard, grab the ASRock Z77 Extreme 6. It's pretty loaded. You get a lot of features with this thing. Um, more SATA 6 ports than most uh, in that price range. You get like four of them as opposed to two that most of the uh, Z77 motherboards have in that price range until you start spending a couple, couple hundred uh, on your um, on your motherboard. But that's like 160, so 160 euros, and you're good to go. Uh, moving right along here with the AMD option. Now, for the CPU and... Um, and for the motherboard for the AMD option, I really like the AMD FX6300 that just came out. I like it better than the 1100T. It's a really nice 6-core, and you can do a lot with it. For the price, I mean, it's like... Uh, I forgot to write the price down, but I think it's around 100 Actually, I don't think it's out in uh, in Deutschland yet, but everybody, keep, keep an eye out for it. You'll see it coming out very, very soon. It's brand new, uh, and there's a lot you can do with it. So I, I condone that part. It's not as fast as the Intel, but it's a lot less expensive. And if you're in, you know, if, if you're um, if you're on a budget, it's a, it's a very good way to go. All right, for the motherboard, I'm gonna grab the Asrock 970 Extreme 4 ATX AM3 Plus motherboard. Um, it's another loaded motherboard. Now, one thing I like about the AMD motherboards, they seem to be more loaded than the Intel motherboards. You get uh, more set of six ports. You get tons of USB 3 options. They're just really loaded. So I like that a lot. And for the CPU cooler, um, if you guys want to get an extra CPU cooler, I keep re recommending this one because it's so inexpensive. I mean, these are like, actually, they're 41 euros over there. So they're a little more expensive over there than they are um, uh, here in the States. I got this one for like 22 US dollars, which is, I mean, pretty much free. Okay, fine. I, I mugged a guy outside and I took this and his boots. And Max is wearing his boots because they were too small for me. How do you like those boots, Max? Comfortable. <laughs> I'm glad the guy had an Evo, uh, 212 Evo on him because I needed one of those as well. It was a good score, uh, everyone. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's talk about RAM, shall we? There's a lot of good options as far as RAM goes. You want to try to get something that's like 1.5 volts um, for these motherboards because those motherboards, uh, the RAM is like basically hooked straight into the CPU and the CPU can't handle that high voltage memory anymore. So. Try to keep it around 1.5 volts if you can. I found some Corsair Vengeance 16-gigabyte um, kit. It's two 8-gig sticks, uh, and it's 1,800 megahertz, and it's less than 100 euros, so I'm going to go with that. And one thing I like about that is you have two 8-gig sticks, therefore you can upgrade in the future and have 32 gigabytes of RAM if you're doing video editing or something like that. So a very solid way to go. For the storage, I'm going to grab a solid-state drive and put my money there because most of us, let's, let's be honest, most of us have a uh, mechanical drive laying around somewhere or in a system you guys can use that for storage. I'm not going to recommend mechanical drives. I know you guys have them. Uh, I mean, if you really need one, send me an email and I'll recommend one for you. But for these videos, uh, we're going for speed. So we're getting a HyperX 3K, a Kingston HyperX 3K, 120 gigabyte uh, drive. And that one, again, is less than 100 euros. So cannot go wrong there. The thing's freaking fast. It's like 550 read and 530 write or the other way around. I don't remember. It's just freaking fast. And that's all there is to it. Um, for the video card... Asus Radeon HD 7870. I keep recommending the 7870. It is like the sweet spot for performance. Uh, it, it just it just flies and it beats anything else that I can find in this price range. Of course, if you want to spend some more money, you can get a GTX 670 and do really well, uh, or you can get a 7950 and do really well. Or if you want to go crazy, you can get a a 7970. But I was running that one, 
and that one was uh, running. It runs warm, but it's kind of loud. Once you get in game, and the and the fan kicks up to like 60, if you're running the stock cooler, that's loud. You need like a aftermarket cooler. So that Asus does have an aftermarket cooler, and I like that. It'll keep things nice and cool, nice and quiet, and it can max out just about any any game at 1080p. Maybe not Crisis, but it can max out in most games at uh, you know totally playable 30 to 60 frames a second. Um, for the case, let's grab the Fractal Design Arc Mini. Um, like this case a lot. Uh, there's also several other different cases you can look at out there, like the NZXT Tempest 410. Just take a look at those cases. They're very nice for the money, so you guys can pick either one you want. I'm not sure if the Tempest 410 is available in Deutschland, but if it is, it's a very good way to go. Uh, the Fractal Arc Mini is around 100, and that's it's just loaded. It, it's got a, you got a lot of room when you're working with that one, and that's something I like. There's also a lot of room to route cables behind the motherboard tray. So I totally condone that one. We've got a couple of them here in the building, and they're quite nice. Power supply. XFX 650 um, 80 plus bronze certified power supply. This is more power than you're going to need, especially, um, well, yeah, it's just more power than you need. But you will be able to run Crossfire SLI. So if you wanted to get a second 7870 or maybe get two GTX 660 Ti's, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Uh, I, I'm more of a one GPU kind of guy. It's just less headache. But you can... Uh, add lots of hard drives and stuff, so it'll be nice to have. Plus, it's very important to get something that's 80 plus certified. Uh, I found some Seasonics, um, but for the same money, you were getting like a 500 watt Seasonic versus a 650 watt XFX. You guys can grab the the 500 uh, watt Seasonic. They are extremely nice. The parts on the inside, the capacitors are all solid state. You know, like nice um, Japanese capacitors. So they use really high quality parts, and I totally condone the use of a uh, Seasonic power supply. All right, uh, moving right along here for the optical drive. I grabbed a, uh, I don't just grabbed like a Sony AD7280S0B. It's $22.41 something. It's like $22.41. That's in euros again. So that's it. That should, uh, that should kick the ass of any other system in that price range. And like I said, what you have to figure out is if you want to spend the extra money to get an Intel or if you want to get the AMD. Um, there's also the new you know, 8350 that just came out, and those are quite fast. They're not quite as fast in gaming as the similarly priced Intels, uh, and that's why I kind of recommend the 6300 if you're a gamer, but these are really good for productivity and very good for rendering. Um, the 8350 is, is really good if you're doing those things, so you can consider that one if you're doing that kind of stuff, but if uh, if you're just gaming, there's no reason to get uh, spend the extra money. You may as well get just like a 4300, FX 4300, or an FX 6300, or spend the extra money, like I said, and get the i5. So, with a lot of talk there, guys. Um, and thank you guys for sending me emails and requesting a video. I always like to take a, you know, look after our audience. Our German audience is awesome. You guys send so many emails. Uh, some of you guys have even said, hey, dude, come over and hang out. Sure, I'll be right over there. We'll, we'll hang out, drink some Advent tennis. Uh, you better have some in your fridge, because I will drink it. Yes. Germany is like the most beautiful place in the world. Maybe we'll move over there one of these days. You know, after the after the feds, you know, catch our scent, we'll uh, we'll call you guys up, and we'll see you guys in Germany. They're always looking for us. Why? Because we tell the truth, and they can't handle that. People hate when you tell the. What, how did this? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> let's just let's just end the video. Uh, thanks for everything. Thanks for donating on Chip In. You guys are awesome. And thank you guys for turning off AdBlock. Since then, we've been able to like eat. <laughs> like, hell, oh my God. They turned off, uh, like, something happened. Like, you guys must have all turned off Adblog or something because it's like, oh, we can eat now. It's really cool. Yes. So I'm going to make the same exact video uh, for the UK because they've been requesting one. And I'm also going to make the same exact video for the people in the US of A because that's where I'm at. And I... Yeehaw! Uh, yeah, yeehaw. Guns and explosions and boobies. Woo! Whiskey. All right, y'all. I'm going to give you guys a good American goodbye. So long, folks. Al Vader Zane. <laughs>